Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Brenton. Welcome to part 18 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So in this tutorial, we'll be finishing up our Goomba class and uh, getting him moving uh, around our game world and also disappearing uh, after we stomp him. So if you're interested in finding out how to do that, go ahead and stick with me. So let's go ahead and start off by getting rid of that uh, squished Goomba texture uh, after about uh, a second that the Goomba has been dead. So where we destroy uh, the body in the update method here, let's go ahead and reset our state time to zero so we can have a fresh timer uh, to know how long uh, the Goomba has been dead. And then down here somewhere, let's go ahead and override the draw method. So that's public uh, void draw that takes in a batch file called batch. And what we'll just do is say, if not destroyed, um, or the state timer, or state time is less than one second, then we'll go ahead and draw. So we'll say super dot draw and give it the batch. So real quick test here, a jumping on the Goomba's head smishes him and then um, he disappears after one second. And just to reiterate, it only, the textures are only drawn if the Goomba is not destroyed or the state timer is less than one second. So he can be destroyed and the state timer still has to count up to at least one second uh, before we stop uh, drawing the batch. So let's go ahead and get our Goomba moving. Let's start in the enemy class and create a new um, public uh, vector two called velocity. And we'll define the velocity here. Velocity equals new vector two. And we'll just start him out with a velocity of one in the x axis and a zero in the y axis. And what I want to do here is create a public uh, void reverse uh, velocity, which will take in a boolean for the x and a boolean for the y. And what we'll do here is if this method is called, it will check to see if either one of these are true. And if either one are true, it'll reverse the velocity in that axis. So we'll say if um, x um, velocity dot x equals negative uh, velocity dot x. And also if y velocity dot y equals negative velocity dot y. So going back to our Goomba class here, if in our update method, if the Goomba is not destroyed, let's go ahead and get our B2 body and dot set linear velocity in the X and Y axes, and it can take in a vector two for our X and Y. So we'll just say, uh, we're gonna set our linear velocity to our velocity uh, vector two object. So hitting the run button now, um, we should see our Goomba uh, head uh, towards the right, which is a positive one in the x-axis, but he comes uh, to uh, a collision with a pipe. And what we want to do is actually reverse his velocity when he hits a game object like this. So let's go ahead and work on that. Let's go ahead and go to our world contact listener. And since we've already set up this a switch to our collision definition, this is going to be pretty easy. Make sure you uh, put a break after our first case. And then we'll say case that Mario Bros. dot enemy bit collides with Mario Bros. Um, dot object bit, then execute the following lines of code. Let's just go ahead and copy uh, this stuff right here and we'll paste it right below here. But this time we're set, uh, checking to see if it's the enemy uh, bit, not the enemy head bit. So if the filter data dot category bits is an enemy bit, then what we wanna do is say, uh, we're gonna cast it to an enemy and then we're gonna say reverse velocity. And then we wanna reverse it in the X axis. So we'll set this to true. We don't care, we're not gonna do the Y axis. Now what we can do is since we know the other one, um, if, if this one isn't the enemy, then this one must be the enemy. So we can actually just take all this out. And I think we can go ahead and take it all out of here as well, because we're not gonna need that there. Um, then fixture B needs to, um, reverse velocity. If the first if the first fixture isn't um, 
the enemy bit, and then the second one must be the enemy. Now, one last thing I forgot to change in the Goomba uh, class here is that when we create the enemy bit fixture, which is the main body of our Goomba, we don't actually set its user data yet. So let's go ahead and set its user data here to this just exactly like we set its head user data to this down here we just forgot to do it up here as well so inside of our play screen where we're making our little test goomba here at the bottom of our constructor i'm going to just put this at 5.64 on the f axis or the x axis go ahead and hit run this will be put uh the Goomba in between the two pipes so we can better see the fact that we're reversing our velocities here. Um, so let's go ahead and go check it out. So there you go, you can see the Goomba is now colliding with the pipes uh, and reversing his velocity. And of course we can jump on him, he's gonna disappear uh, and we've pretty much uh, done what we wanted to. Let's add one more thing here into our uh, switch in our collision definition in our world contact listener. Let's do a case uh, that Mario Bros. Dot Mario bit collides with Mario Bros. Dot enemy bit. And notice this is not the enemy's head bit. This is the enemy bit itself. Let's just go ahead and do a gdx.app.log uh, Mario and then died and let's go ahead and run and test that so let's go run into our goomba but not jump on his head and see what happens so you can see that the goomba hit mario we got a mario died so later we can incorporate that into our game to actually kill mario off of course if we jump on his head we don't see any other uh mario died uh um logs or anything like that so we know that our jump is keeping mario safe and killing the goomba so that's pretty much it for this tutorial i hope you guys learned something we made some progress we got our goomba moving uh he can also kill mario even though we haven't actually set that up yet we've logged it to our console here that mario dies when he collides without jumping on the goomba's head uh we got rid of the goomba texture after about a second of just showing uh showing uh the smashed uh uh, texture um, and so yeah we made some progress uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button I greatly appreciate it but most importantly uh, please share it trying to grow this channel if you're feeling generous check out my patreon page I give you two big thumbs up for that uh, I appreciate all you guys watching and I'll catch you guys next time